Students, let us find out how to upload photos and video clips from Android phone. To upload the photos and video clips from digital camera into your PC, follow the given steps. Connect your Android phone by using USB cable and set your phone to the unlock mode. Click on file and choose the import from device option. A pop-up message appears notifying photos and videos will be imported into photo gallery. Click OK. In the import photos and videos window, select the device from where you want to import photos and videos and then click on import. To import all the photos and videos at once, click on the import all new items now radio button and to import selected items, click on the review, organize and group items to import radio button. After successful import of the photos and videos, the photo gallery window will appear. Select the checkbox in the upper left corner for each photo or video that you want to use in your movie. Go to the movie option in the share group on the create tab. The selected photos and videos will be added in the storyboard. Save your file as a project or as a movie in any other format. Students, let's know more. We can make the movie and music end at the same time using the fit to music option present on the project tab in the audio group. This automatically adjusts the duration of the videos and photos as per the music. Students, let me tell you how to add audio files. You can insert audio files to the clips or images to make the project more appealing. Windows Movie Maker allows you to record an audio from a microphone and use it as a narration in a video. On playing the movie, the audio files will be played in the background along with other media. Varieties of audio or video formats are supported by Windows Movie Maker such as .mp4, .wma and .asf. To add an audio file, follow the given steps. Click on the Add Music button present on the Home tab in the Add group. The Add Music dialog box will appear as shown in the figure. Select the file which you want to import and click on the Open button. You will notice a green bar at the bottom of videos and images, which indicates that the audio file is imported as shown in the figure. Students, let's know more. You can use the fade in option to gradually increase the volume of audio in the beginning and fade out to gradually decrease in the end. These options are available in the music tools, contextual menu in the audio group when you add an audio to a clip. And you can record your own voice using a microphone and add it as a soundtrack to the video clip. This can be done by clicking on the Record Narration button present on the Home tab in the Add group. Students, now let me tell you how to add transitions. Transitions are applied to add visual effects to the movie. These are used to add connectivity to the consecutive scenes of a movie. Transitions can be added between two images, video clips or titles and are applied to the beginning of the selected clip. The effects range from simple fades to complicated graphical animations. To apply transitions, follow these steps. Click on the Animations tab. You will find the gallery of transition effects in the Transitions group. Click on the More drop-down arrow at the bottom right of the list and the list expands into various categories like Diagonals, Dissolves, Patterns and Shapes, Reveals, Shutters, Sweeps and Curls, Wipes, Cinematic and Contemporary. Move the cursor on any transition effect. The preview of the effect will be displayed in the preview pane. Click on a video clip or image and then select any transition. It will be applied to the beginning of that clip or image. To apply transitions to all the clips and images, click on the Apply to All button present in the Transitions group. Play the movie and notice the transition effect. Students know the fact. 
The animations pane on the ribbon contains two kinds of animation that you can add to video clips or photos, transitions and pan and zoom.